Good morning! Welcome to another weekly reading vlog and welcome to week four of the Owl's Magical Readathon. Now, we actually only have two owls left to complete. We've got Astronomy, which is to read a book with the word star in the title, and I'm reading Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I'm about 100 pages in and I have sectioned this off so that I will finish it by this Sunday. If you didn't see last week's vlog, I'm trying a new thing where I read a little bit of a few books each day and we're just seeing how that goes. Um, then the other challenge left that I have is for Defense Against the Dark Arts and that is Reducto, read a book that starts with R and I'm reading The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This one I haven't put into sections because I figured I'm just going to binge read this one day this week. And then I have two other books on my TBR for the month and those are We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal and I'm 50 pages into this and I've put this into sections so that I will finish this by the last day of the month. And then I am also buddy reading Descendant of the Crane by Joan Hay with Kara from Bianca Reads. We are basically besties now. So we are reading this over the course of six days and today is day one so I need to read my section of this. So basically today my plan is to read the next 50 pages of this, the first 70 pages of this, and the next 50 pages of this, which all up will be about 170 pages worth of reading, which is not too scary. <laughs> I've also been quite productive this morning, finished editing my reading vlog for last week, and that is currently uploading, ready to go up tomorrow morning. But I also have to finish my City of Glass reading vlog, which is also going up this week, but we'll get to that later because it's already 2 p.m. and I haven't started reading yet. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna read my sections for these three books and I will check back in soon. Good morning, there's a cat on me. So I can't move. But I slept in again and I woke up with a headache, which sucks. I hate that. When you wake up with a headache, it's the worst. But I finished all of the sections of all of the books that I wanted to yesterday. So we've got Descendant of the Crane. I read the first 70 pages and I'm really enjoying it so far. The writing is so beautiful and I love the characters so far, especially Lillian. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Then Of Fire and Stars, I'm about 150 pages into that and I'm really enjoying that as well. It's very like slow burn, but that has turned into like a murder mystery and there's lots of political intrigue happening as well and there's magic and something is happening outside. Just ignore that. And then I'm 100 pages into We Hunt the Flame and that one's really slow like nothing's really happened so far but the writing is really good really beautiful so we'll see how that goes but yeah we're just chilling having a nice morning cuddle hey blackie <laughs> he's so sweet he's so sweet hey oh my boy Oh, he's such a good boy. He always comes and cuddles me. And Looney here. Hey, baby. My good girl. Actually, she's been quite naughty, licking her leg wound again. I don't want to have to put the cone on her, but I might have to at night. Hey, you're so naughty. You've got to let it heal. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to get up and have some breakfast and probably watch some booktube and then read my books. And then I have to finish my City of Glass vlog. Ooh, it's just a lot to do. But I kind of don't want to get up because there's a cat on me. And when you've been chosen by the cat gods, you can't get up. It's a rule. <laughs> Look at this glorious breakfast. We got tomato and egg on a muffin and we got orange and water and Luna but we're not gonna eat Luna. <laughs> Hello it's me. A couple of hours later. Well not a couple. It's been like when did I last update? 
I don't know, but it is like 4 p.m. now and I haven't read anything. I just finished uh, filming my City of Glass vlog. I've edited about 10 minutes of it, but I have about 25 minutes left of footage to edit for that. But I think I might leave that till tomorrow because I really need to start reading because I've got three sections of three different books to read today. Also, I'm still in my pajamas. I just live in my pajamas, basically. Although I really love these pajamas. I bought them in Korea. They are BTS pajamas. But it's like this nighty thing. And it's got Tata here in a pocket. It's so cute. <laughs> what a good girl. And look at Blackie in the dog bed. Blackie, I think that, that bed's a bit big for you. <laughs> and there's Moon Boots. Creeping in the corner. Moon boots. Moon boots. Moon boots. She loves to ignore me. And Luna's jealous. <laughs> Luna, come on, baby. Good girl. You're getting so good at jumping. Yeah, you're getting so good at jumping. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> okay, hi friends! So it is Wednesday. Mwah. Yes, it is. Uh, Lucas and I got tickets to see Avengers today at 12.50. So we have to leave in a couple of hours to go and see that. Mwah. But I just got some stuff in the mail. So first we have the April Alcrate box. And then we also have the April Alcrate Junior box. Um, they are going through some rebranding right now. So they've got a new look. So they were kind enough to send me their April box. So we're gonna open these now, but first I'll give you a reading update. So I am like halfway through my section for today for All Fire and Stars. So I'm currently on page 214 and by the end of today I'll be on page 251 but I'm still really enjoying this and I still have to read my sections for We Hunt the Flame and Descendant of the Crane today. So I'm currently on page 141 of We Hunt the Flame and by the end of today I'll be on page 186 and then with Descendant of the Crane I'm on page 146. And by the end of today, I'll be on page 212. We're going well. I'm really enjoying this, like, read bits of multiple books a day thing. It's really going well for me. Yeah, but I am really excited about these boxes. So let's open them. I am so lucky that Alcrate sends these to me. Um, I have a special code that you can use to get 10% off. So I'll leave that in the description. But Alcrate is like the best i just i love them so dang much and their boxes give me life so let's open the regular one <laughs> oh my gosh so the theme for this month is the dark side here is the spoiler card all right the first thing i see is a pop socket. Oh my gosh, I have never had a pop socket before and I'm so excited. Woohoo! So this is inspired by 
Vicious by V.E. Schwab and designed by Hey Atlas Creative. This is what it looks like up close. It is very cool and I'm very excited to use that. Next we have Six of Crows themed socks. These are from Out of Print. Let's open these up so we can get a better look. Here is what they look like. Woo! I love socks, so I am very excited about this. All right, next we have their monthly enamel pin. And this usually goes with the book, so I'm assuming this has something to do with that. Oh my gosh, but to go along with that, we have a like pin banner. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I've been using another like banner thing that I got from a subscription box, but it's not meant to be a pin banner. Um, so this is awesome. I know a lot of people will love this. Then we have something purple. Oh, this feels nice. What are this? Hmm. This is a Grishaverse inspired scarf designed by bookmarked tattoos very nice we have a excerpt of finale which is the third book in the caraval series which i did not really enjoy the first one so but i know a lot of people love this series oh my god it's a notebook <gasps> i am a notebook whore so i'm very excited about this and it's sarah j mass themed oh my gosh we have been blessed on this day this is what it looks like and this is illustrated by stella bookish art i love this so much so it actually goes from the top and it's blind oh i can't wait to use this yes please oh and then we have something that links to the book so i'll show you that afterwards but we have reached the book and boy oh boy am i excited it is so gorgeous oh my gosh i love this so much more than the original cover this is wicked saints by emily a duncan oh all right let's get a closer look so we have a letter from the author and then we have the book oh look at those end pages and it is signed and underneath oh, 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 oh yes please this is about a girl who can speak to the gods or something and apparently it just has some really evil people in it and lots of morally grey characters. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! A girl who hears the whispers of the gods inside her head. A prince surrounded by desperate suitors and deadly assassins. A monster hidden behind pale, tortured eyes and a smile that cuts like a knife. The paths of these three characters become entwined during a centuries-long war filled with sinners and saints, magic and mystery, and a star-crossed romance that threatens to tip the scales between dark and light forever. <laughs> oh my god. And then we have the little booklet. There's the difference in covers. And then we have the theme for next month's box, which is epic adventures and i've already sussed out and i think i know what the book is for next month um but i won't spoil it for you but along with the book we also got this which is like a little map towel thing <laughs> i don't know but it's cool so that's the our crate box my favorite thing in the box is probably the notebook because i'm trash for notebooks and this is one of my favorite our crate covers ever oh my goodness so that's that one my leg is numb oh we must persevere okay now let's move on to the our crate junior box all right here we go oh it's so bright and colorful inside ah so the theme for this month is crack the code all right let's get into it first we have something called canoodle a caboodle of brain teasing puzzles this is what it looks like on the back i will add this to my collection of 
games that I will use in the classroom when I eventually decide to become a teacher. I mean, I have the degree. I just don't want to do it yet. <laughs> uh, then we have 100 logic puzzles. So it's like a little booklet. I love this type of thing. Again, something very useful for teachers. Oh my gosh, is this another notebook? This is my month. <gasps> Look at this. Oh boy, this is stunning. I love, I love, I love, I love. All right, the next thing, oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is a bookmark inspired by A Wrinkle in Time. It says, just because we don't understand doesn't mean that the explanation doesn't exist. Wow, I love it. And then we have, oh, okay, so you cut these out and put them together and it's like a code cipher wheel thing it says check out this month's magazine for instructions on how to make and use your super secret cipher wheel oh my gosh i would have loved this as a kid there's this little envelope oh this must be the push pin that goes in the middle of the wheel that is so cute then we have the monthly pin which has like these symbols all over it and then we have the book and let me just say this cover is beautiful this is the strangers by margaret peterson haddix okay let's open this up so we have a, another letter from the author and a signed book plate and this is the stunning book oh my gosh and again with the end pages and it's just a lovely red underneath let's see what is this about okay it's about these three kids who live with their mum and then reports of three kidnapped children reach them and these three kidnapped children sound exactly like themselves they have the same names the same ages the same birthdays so they're like what the heckity heck and then before they can question their mum about it she takes off on a sudden work trip but puzzling clues left behind lead to complex codes hidden rooms and a dangerous secret that will turn their world upside down oh my gosh this looks awesome oh it's blurbed by amy kaufman and jennifer a nielsen yes okay then we have the booklet and the theme for next month is Rebels and Rule Breakers. Next month's book is a hilarious and heartwarming contemporary story all about bending the unwritten rules of middle school. Join a ragtag crew of characters as they learn about the power of legends, which rules are meant to be broken, and how great it feels to be yourself. Oh, that sounds pure and precious and wonderful. So my favourite thing thing in the Owlcrate Junior box is probably a tie between the bookmark and the notebook but these two books are so stunning and I'm really excited for both of them. Thank you so much Owlcrate, you are the best. I am so blessed and thankful. So now I have to clean up this mess that I've just made and then we have to leave for the cinema in about an hour so I'm gonna try and get some more reading done of my books and then I'll probably take one with me to the cinema because, you know, we'll probably go a bit early to get good seats and then the ads take forever. So yeah, that's it for this update. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Tell everyone what you thought of the movie. My daughters are crying. Not that one. Avengers. Uh, no spoilers. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, hey, Tony. Tony Stark. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, was it good or bad? It was so good. It was my 
best movie. Oh, really? In 2019. Wow. Wow. But how many movies have you watched this year? Uh, three. <laughs> in the cinema. In the cinema? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we watched Captain Marvel. And what else did we watch? In the cinema? I don't think we watched anything else. I can't remember. <laughs> so two movies. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Wakanda forever! <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oscar! What are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> and we've also got this one. And this one. But good morning. So it is Thursday. And I was talking to Kara last night. And she's like, so the readathon, 24 hour readathon starts at midday tomorrow. And I'm like, wait, what? So, um... Turns out the 24 hour readathon is starting at midday today and ending midday tomorrow on Friday when I thought it was starting midday tomorrow. But that's fine, we're just going to do the 24 hour readathon today. So I have just under two hours uh, before it starts. But I'm not going to do a separate vlog for this one mainly because. I'm gonna try and read Red Scrolls of Magic and I need to do a read with me vlog for that so it's just too complicated to do like three reading vlogs <laughs> for one day I don't know so I'm gonna tell you what I plan to read during this 24 hour readathon firstly I have the three sections of the three books that I'm reading so I've got Thursday's section today's section and tomorrow's section so I'm gonna get both of those read during the 24 hours so that means I'll be reading a hundred pages over the 24 hour period of Of Fire and Stars, 100 pages of We Hunt the Flame, and 135 pages of Descendant of the Crane. So if I read Red Scrolls of Magic in its entirety and two, two sections of each of the other three books, then that will be a total of 680 pages. So that is the bare minimum, okay? That is what I have to read during the 24 hours. If I get through all of that, then I might try and finish these. Maybe even this, if Kara is willing. Um, and maybe pick up one of my library books because I have a lot of books out from the library that I need to read. So that is my plan. So I think I'm going to start off reading today's sections for those three books. And once I read all three of those, then I'll dive into Red Scrolls of Magic, but I'll also be filming my vlog alongside that, so that might take up a little bit of time, but I'm really excited. I've also finally figured out my TBR for the Sailor Moonathon that starts on the 1st of May, so I'm so excited for that, and I'm planning on filming my TBR for that. I was gonna film it today, but I guess I'll film it tomorrow afternoon after the readathon's done. To get it up on Saturday morning but I'm really excited for that I am team Sailor Moon uh, mainly because I have my very own Luna and if you didn't know Luna is actually named after the cat from Sailor Moon because Sailor Moon was a huge part of my childhood but I haven't watched it in such a long time that and I never finished it either so I can't remember what happens I just remember that Sailor Jupiter was always my favorite. She was like the tomboy character because when I was growing up I was a bit of a tomboy for a while. But honestly, I love all of the characters. But Sailor Moon, I just relate to her so much. I mean, she sleeps too much, she's boy obsessed, which was me, and she's always crying, which is also me. So yeah, I just have to wait for this readathon to start. I have to wait an hour and a half. The waiting is the worst part. I just want to start already. So. The readathon's about to start and I've just gotten myself some lunch. So we've got some apple, we've got a toasted sandwich, and I forgot I bought chocolate soy milk yesterday. I am so excited. Because if you didn't know, I'm a soy milk kind of gal. So let's taste test. Mmm. Chocolate soy milk. 
Oh, so good. Okay, so there's four minutes till the readathon starts. I'm gonna eat my lunch and probably, mm, I think I'm gonna read my section of, of Fire and Stars first because that's, I get through that one the quickest. So Kara messaged me a couple of minutes before the readathon started and she was like, hey, do you wanna read our section of Descendant of the Crane first? So I was like, yeah. So here's footage of me reading it. and I need answers. Holy crap, so much happened in that section. I am shook. So many plot twists. Oh my god, this book is so good. Oh, I am so scared to read tomorrow's section because of what just happened. Uh. <sighs> okay, so that's 70 pages down for the readathon so far and it is 137. I did take a little bit of a break to uh, get the washing off the line and pick up Luna's dog poo, which was great fun. But now I think maybe, I don't know whether to start this or read sections of my other books. Or maybe I'll break this up and read like a hundred pages of this, then one of my other books, then the next hundred pages of this, then one of my other books. I don't know. Okay, I think that's what I might do. I think I might start this and start my vlog. Yeah. Okay, I am back. It is now, what time is it? 4.30. I took a break to eat and I just finished the first part of the Red Scrolls of Magic. It is separated into three parts. So I decided I'll just split it into three parts and I'll read something else now after reading part one. So I just finished filming an update for my read with me vlog for this book, but I am on page 109. So, so far I've read 179 pages, which is not bad. Not my best either. But yeah, I'm loving this. It's so fun. So now I think I'm gonna move on to my section of, of Fire and Stars. So we'll get 50 pages read of this before we dive back into Red Scrolls. I'm like two thirds of the way through this now and I'm really enjoying it. So it's time to read 50 pages of that. So it is just past five o'clock and I just read 50 pages of Of Fire and Stars and this is getting so dang good. Oh my gosh, I am loving this book so much more than I expected. I just want these sweet baby angels to be okay and I want them to live happily ever after. Is that too much to ask? But yeah, the stakes are high, but I have to put this down now to read the next section of The Red Scrolls of Magic. So, so far, the readathon has been going for five hours and I've read 229 pages. That's not too bad, but let's keep going. Hi, Blackie. What are you doing being upside down? You having fun? Eh? You having fun being upside down? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, it's almost 8.30 at night and I am two thirds of the way through Red Scrolls of Magic. So I've reached part three. So it is time to take a break from this and jump into my section of We Hunt the Flame for the day. So I've got 50 pages of this to read. And then I'm going to go back to this and try and finish it tonight. But I'm not sure because you guys know I go to sleep pretty early. Or at least I like to because I'm a grandma. But I really want to get this done so that tomorrow all we have left to read is my sections of the other three books. Possibly, I think I'm going to finish Of Fire and Stars too because like I'm so close to being done and it's so good and I'm loving it so much. So I don't know, we'll see. Good morning. So it is about 9 a.m. I slept. 
for about 11 hours. <laughs> which is normal for me, but not ideal for a 24 hour readathon. So last night I read the second section of Red Scrolls and I read the next section in We Hunt the Flame and I was planning on finishing Red Scrolls, but instead I just passed out. Oh, Lucas is awake. Hi. Good Hi. morning. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I passed out. So we only have three hours of the readathon left. And I don't think we're going to get all the reading done that I had planned, but that's okay because we're just going to keep reading through the day anyway. So right now I'm going to finish Red Scrolls of Magic. I've got about 130 pages left. And then I think I'm going to read the last 86 pages of, of Fire and Stars because I'm really loving it and it's getting so good and I just want to know what happens. And I think that is probably all that will get read during the three hours. I might not even get that much read during the three hours, but we're gonna continue reading throughout the day anyway. So the reading doesn't end at midday, so do not fret. But yeah, I'm gonna go finish this. And then I also have to finish my vlog for it, but I might, if I'm running out of time, I might just jump straight into Of Fire and Stars and finish filming my vlog after the readathon's over. Let's just keep reading. So the 24 hour readathon is about to end and I finished The Red Scrolls of Magic and I loved it so much. I think I'm giving it five stars. There were a couple of things that I was a little bit disappointed with, but I just, I loved it so much. But um, I will get into that later and obviously I'll have a vlog for that. So yeah, this is the only thing I managed to finish during the 24 hours and I didn't get as much reading done as I had planned to because I slept way too much. So I read this which was 345 pages. I read 50 pages of We Hunt the Flame. I read 50 pages of, of Fire and Stars and 70 pages of Descendants of the Crane, which is not bad. I mean, I'm quite pleased with what I read, so whatever. Um, but I just got a huge package in the mail and I think these are books that were sent to me by my friend Lourdes. Oh my gosh, she, she is so naughty. She has a book blog, so I'm gonna leave it linked down the corner. Sorry, Luna's moving the tripod. But please go and check her out. Please go and show her some love. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what to say. So we're going to open this package and cry together because she did not have to do this. But she went and did it. And if I was rich, I would send her the world. But alas, I can't. So let's open this box. Yes. It's big. All right. Oh dear. Oh my God. Oh my God, Lordes. Oh my God. Holy crap. I don't know what to say. One, two, three, four, five. She sent me eight books. I literally don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm literally in shock right now. Do not deserve this. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you so much, Lourdes. Seriously, I... <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna show you the books. This is unreal. So there are four hardcovers and four paperbacks. Let's start with the paperbacks. <laughs> so we have Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren so much. Um, I love their book, um, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. And I'm really excited to read all of their other stuff. I've read a couple of other books by them, but I really wanted to check out their other books. So this is one of them. This is like a enemies to lovers office romance. And then we have another Christina Lauren book. We have Love and Other Words. 
I don't really know much about this, but I think it's a little bit more on the sad and serious side. And then, oh my gosh, I am literally so excited about these. Oh my gosh. These are books two and three in a series. And I read the first book uh, around Christmas time and I gave it five stars. They're by one of my favorite authors, Matt Haig. And they are The Girl Who Saved Christmas and Father Christmas and Me. The first book is A Boy Called Christmas and it is literally the best Christmas story I've ever read. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to read these this Christmas. <gasps> Thank you so much. Moving on to the hardcover books. We have Empress of All Seasons by Amiko Jean. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. This is a fantasy inspired by, I think, Japan? Basically, it's a competition where the main character has to survive four different rooms of all seasons. So she has to conquer winter, spring, summer, and fall, and the winner marries the prince. All are eligible to compete, all except yokai, supernatural monsters and spirits. And Murray just happens to be one of those. Oh my gosh. I wanted this for so long. And then we have Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is a YA contemporary book about three siblings who were adopted into separate families. And I think it's the first time they meet or come together. I've heard this is really, really like... I will need a tissue box for this. Oh my god. We have Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. Oh my gosh, I've wanted this for so long. Oh my gosh. This is a middle grade inspired by Korean mythology. And it's one of the Rick uh, Riordan Presents uh, books. And I believe it's like a mix of sci-fi and fantasy. Oh my god. And the last book. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is In an Absent Dream by Seanan Maguire. Oh my gosh, I have not read this yet, but I am so excited to because I love this series so much. Oh my gosh. I literally don't know what to do right now. I don't know how I was lucky enough to be blessed with friends like you. <sighs> Thank you so much. Please know if you're watching this, you do not have to buy me anything ever. Don't feel pressured at all. I just love you guys for being here, honestly. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to go message her right now. Hello. So it is now 4.30 in the afternoon. And stuff has gotten finished. Well, one book. Well, two books if you count Red Scrolls of Magic. But I just finished... Descendant of the Crane. I was buddy reading this with Kara and we were supposed to finish it tomorrow but after reading today's section we were just like so hyped and we just had to read the last section of the book. So we did and holy moly this has so many plot twists in it. I was like shook the entire time. I think I'm gonna give it a four stars. I don't know what it is. There's just something that is holding me back from giving it five stars but i really really enjoyed it and i'm really annoyed that it's being marketed as a standalone when it so obviously is not a standalone so if you're watching this and you're like oh my gosh yay a standalone fantasy it's not it's not <laughs> the author has said she has companion novels for this but i don't think they've been picked up um so hopefully uh, I'm pretty sure this book has been like really successful so far so hopefully they will get picked up and published because this story is far from over. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. But I also stopped by the library to pick up a hold for the Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chokshi because this is the team book for Team Sailor Moon for the Sailor Moonathon. So I have to read that. But I did not get around to filming my... Sailor Moonathon TBR today like I wanted to so I'll just have to do it tomorrow that's fine but right now I'm going to finish off of Fire and Stars so we'll be 
finishing three books in one day, which is awesome. Love that for me. And this has a sequel coming out in August. And the way this is shaping up, I'm thinking this might be a five star read. I'm loving it. So I will catch up with you when I'm done. I have about 86 pages left, I think. Good morning. So I just finished filming and editing my video that I'm gonna post tomorrow morning but I have stuff to update you on so last night I finished Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst and as I predicted I gave this five stars I loved it so much I just I didn't expect this to be so good I don't know but I just loved it so much I love the characters I love the magic I just I can't wait for the sequel so yesterday that means I finished three books we finished Red Scrolls of Magic uh, Descendant of the Crane and Of Fire and Stars and we finished all of our owls oh my gosh we did it fam so Red Scrolls of Magic was for Defense Against the Dark Arts for Reducto read a book starting with R and Of Fire and Stars was for Astronomy to read a book with the word star in the title and Descendant of the Crane was my original pick for Herbology, but I ended up completing that with My Brother's Husband, Volume 1. So that's it. We've completed all of the challenges and all of the owls. I'm stoked. So now the only book that I had left on my TBR for the month uh, is We Hunt the Flame. And there's four days left in the month. So I've got four sections left to read. So I will finish this on the last day of the month but I also decided I am loving reading multiple books at once right now it is really working out well for me so I decided to take the two shortest books that I have out from the library and I'm gonna split them into four sections and read a section of each uh, for the next four days so hopefully that means I will finish three more books by the end of this month. So the two library books that I picked were The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves, which is a romance book with a main character with autism. And we have An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, which is a book about Faye. So we're going to be reading a section of these each day for the next four days and finishing all of them. And I'm excited. So we're reading about 70 two pages of this per day and I think this one was 73 pages per day and this one's 50 pages per day so all up that is 200 pages a day I can do that I hope we're gonna try anyways so that's my update for now this vlog is already super long I've just also finished editing the previous parts of this vlog it's very long so I'm going to try and keep things short and concise from here on out so um I will update you when something important has happened or if I finish a book or probably when I start the other two library books to give you my initial thoughts. Okay, bye bye. Good morning, it is Sunday. So it's the last day of this very long vlog but I have book news and I have life news. So I'll tell you the life news first and if you want to skip ahead you can um basically i if you've been watching my vlogs for a while you know i uh, my anxiety's been really bad um i haven't really been able to work and the work that i wanted to do wasn't working for me because it was very last minute and just lacked that like stability that i need as an anxious person so if you didn't know i worked in after school care but it's a company that just like sends you out to schools that need extra people so they would call you like a few hours before you would start or in the morning and you wouldn't know uh what school you're going to you wouldn't know uh what days you're working in advance and it could be a good school it could be a bad school but you don't know until you get there it was just really scary for me i also wanted to try relief teaching but that's much the same thing they call you the morning of you don't know what school you're going to you don't know what class you have you don't know the types of kids you'll have and my anxiety was just not having it so i found a job that i really want it is an after school care job but it's at my favorite school so I saw they were advertising for jobs and I jumped at the chance right away. 
It's my favorite school. It's the school that I did my internship at. So I know some of the kids and I know some of the staff. It's a permanent part-time job. So it'd be 20 to 25 hours a week, but just having that stability of going to the same place every day and having a set roster and knowing what you're doing it that's the kind of stability that I need so I applied this morning and I know someone who works there so I messaged them to tell them that I applied and hopefully just fingers crossed I get this job because Obviously, uh, financially things have not been great, especially because of Luna, and we need to move house soon. There's just a lot going on, and I need to work. So I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping that I get that job. And then maybe uh, the days that I don't work, I can volunteer at a library like I had planned on. So I'm just really hoping that works out. But um, we have things to talk about. So yesterday I read my section for We Hunt the Flame. And guys, this is so slow. <laughs> like, is anything going to happen? I am literally 330 pages in. We have this much left. And nothing has happened. I'm so bored. And then I also started The Girl He Used to Know. And I decided to DNF it at about 30 pages in. So that's great. The writing is just so dull and it's not own voices and I've heard that the male love interest is horrible so I don't even really want to read it at this point. Um, and I also started An Enchantment of Ravens but I didn't read my entire section that I had planned to yesterday. I was supposed to read like 75 pages and I read six. So there's that. Oh, I don't know. I might try and read as much of it as I can today, but if I don't read it, who really cares? You know, it's no big deal. I've already read 15 books this month, so I am very pleased with that. And I am going to be finishing this before the month is out, so that's 16 books, so it's fine. So it's Sunday, it's going to be a pretty chill day. Lucas is home today. It's already almost 1pm. We're just chilling. I really need to clean my side of the bedroom because it is a mess. So I'm going to do that today and I'm just going to chill. Hello! So it is officially the end of the week. It is now Monday morning. It's time to wrap up this vlog. So this week I read four books and DNF'd one, making a total of five books, which I am super pleased with. We also finished the Owl's Magical Readathon and I finished all of the books on my monthly TBR. Who am I? So anyways, let's just get into the books that I read. So. Hello Luna! I read The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu and I gave this five stars and this completed the Owls Challenge for Defense Against the Dark Arts to read a book that starts with R. Also I'm running out of room for all the books I read this month on my TBR card which hasn't happened in a while. Anyway the next book that I finished was Descendant of the Crane by Joan Hay and I gave this four out of five stars. This is my original pick for Herbology, but we ended up reading My Brother's Husband. But I buddy read this with Kara and it was the best experience ever. And I really enjoyed this. Then I finished Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coldhurst, which is one of my new favorites. I gave this five stars and this was for astronomy to read a book with the word star in the title. And this was the last book that I had to read for the Owls Magical Readathon. And I'm obsessed with this book. Then I DNF'd The Girl Who Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves because that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But we're running out of room. <laughs> and then last night, I actually finished We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. So I was intending on finishing this on the last day of the month, but I had like 100 pages left and things finally started to get good and exciting. So I decided just to finish it last night. And I enjoyed it. I'm giving it 3.5 stars. I think the beginning is pretty good. The end is amazing, but there's like 300 pages of actual nothing in the middle. Like nothing happens, but the writing is beautiful. I really enjoyed the enemies to lovers and I really enjoyed the overall story. So we're giving this 3.5 stars. Oh my gosh, 
<laughs> and then I also started an enchantment of ravens, but I only made it to page seven, so yay. But yes, I'm gonna end this vlog here because it's already way too long. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon in a new video. Goodbye!